All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to solve the problem x to the power of four minus 16 is equal to zero. So I know what everyone's thinking to do. You guys are probably thinking to add 16 on both sides so we get x to the power of four is equal to 16. And now if I take the fourth root on both sides, I get x is equal to positive or negative fourth root of 16. And although this is one of the right answers, we can't actually find all the correct solutions to this equation by using that method. So a better way to actually do this is to first rewrite 16 as 4 squared. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 4 squared is equal to 0. And now x to the power of 4, that's the same thing as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, this is the same thing as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 4 squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 4. So I get x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. And this also gives me two equations. I get x squared plus 4 is equal to 0 and also x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So x squared minus 4, that's the same thing as x squared minus 2 squared is equal to 0. And again, I can use this property. a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x and b is 2. So I get x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I get yet again another two equations. I get x plus 2 is equal to 0 and I get x minus 2 is equal to 0. So these are fairly simple equations. For x plus 2 equals 0, I subtract 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to negative 2. For x minus 2 equals 0, I can add 2 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 2. Now for x squared plus 4 is equal to 0, I can subtract 4 on both sides, and I get x squared is equal to negative 4. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared, which is x, is equal to the square root of negative 4, which is the same thing as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I get x is equal to positive negative 2i. So I actually have four solutions to this equation.